Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 25, all right. So inside the reset function, we're gonna set each value of the title input, pardon me, of title input, date input, and description input to an empty string, all right? So we're gonna reset all three of these to their uh, two empty strings, all right? Uh, also, we're gonna use class list to toggle the class hidden on the task form to set current tasks to an empty object. So we're just gonna take this thing right here. Uh, and then also, we're going to uh, set current task to an empty object. And that's because this, at this point, current task will be filled with the task the user might have added, current task. Oh yeah, whatever's in here. All right, cool. So let's get to that. Uh, we're gonna get all three of these because there's no better way to do this, I've found. Uh, unless you got a better way to do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's let's do, let's double click title input, hold down alt, double click date input, double click description input, copy all three of those, and then drop them off on 17. Highlight 18 and 19, doesn't matter where, and just press tab to tab it over, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, do the dot value on all these because we're doing the values of each one and we're also setting them to empty strings. So on this first one, let's say uh, dot value equals empty string and then cap it off with a semicolon. Now let's take everything after value to the end of the line, uh, press copy, and then after uh, date input, press uh, paste, and then the same after description input value. I mean, description input. All right, anyway, you know what's up. So now we're gonna do the thing where we take the class list toggle thing. So we'll just take this one from 23. We'll take uh, 23 to the end of 22, copy that, drop it off at the end of 19. And then after that, let's cap this off with a semicolon. And after that, we're gonna set uh, current task to an empty object. So let's just come up here to current task. Uh, everything right before, after the C, I should say, copy that. And then let's uh, drop that right after 21, right on 21, I should say, like that. So this should take care of it. Uh, we haven't put the reset anywhere, so there's no real way to check it, but uh, I'm sure you can imagine what it's gonna do. It's just gonna reset all this stuff, and it's gonna reset this, and it's gonna turn, and it's gonna uh, get rid of this page as well, right? So uh, let's check the code. Looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 26, and we'll see you next time.